Yeah, Grant's making another little access road here. And uh, it's all peat moss here again, so uh, it's dry now, so you can drive on it with heavy machinery. But uh, like this guy here, he's got a bobcat and he uses that to get his uh, firewood out of here. And uh, he sells it, you know, he makes a little bit of money on the side. But a lot of this is all blow down. We had some heavy winds and then the last couple of years we had lots of rain. Because this is a peat bog, all the trees or roots drowned and they ended up dying. It all used to be nice trees in here. So before it all rots away, turns into more peat or a forest fire happens, he's going to try and harvest as much as he can this winter. So Grant's just making him an access road to get in here with his bobcat or, you know, if he gets a skitter or a processor or something like that. He's kind of talking of a processor for, you know, cutting them up to eight foot lengths, making cordwood. Yeah, here in Manitoba we don't have some of those big forestry machines like in BC. Our trees aren't as big as there, obviously. And, well, you got lots of soft land here, anything uh, heavier than a machine like this. And, well, you... <laughs> you might sink up to your cab or or worse and a lot of times you have to do your harvesting during the winter make a ice road basically or a frost road and then uh, you're able to get at stuff and uh, Grant here is quite an operator you know he he works in the bush all the time he is one of the few guys uh, that I see working in the bush these days that doesn't use a thumb he does it the uh, he does it the manly way, <laughs> I guess. To each its own. He says it's been a really good machine to him. Only problem is whatever the cab was made out of, whatever kind of steel it was, it's uh, got lots of rust holes in it and can't do anything about it. It just keeps rusting away, sadly. But it's one hell of a handy machine with that six-way dozer blade. You can't see the blade right now. But uh, that is one handy little attachment. He's got lots of hard facing on his bucket too because he works in a lot of Canadian shield and that stuff is hard as fuck and it'll rip your bucket apart in no time. He says he's got about 6,000 hours on the meter there. So for a machine that's a little over 10 years old, it, uh, it's uh, got not too many hours on it. But he says his center post is leaking and you got to take the house off the tracks off the undercarriage in order to repair that and he's not sure how he's going to do it he's may have to take it to somebody's shop or something like that and take it all apart it's a big job but yeah working in a peat bog and you gotta be careful because sometimes uh, you got lots of uh, tamarack here and if you touch one the top can come falling down on you and hit you in the head right through the cab roof And sometimes even working in this peat bog, you remove the stumps and then the trees around kind of start arching in over top of the trail and eventually they'll fall on you. Lots of unseen dangers, but eh, that's life. That's construction. <laughs>